Well, when, when my mother first met Jack, of course, it was, it was on, on her first trip by herself. And I don't think the relationship between them was anything more than a friendship. And um, it probably couldn't be at the time. My, my mother was married to my father. But later, when we all went over to England, in fact, that means my, my mother, myself, and my brother, uh, the relationship between Jack and my mother developed uh, over the period of several years. And I suppose, really, it was, it, it was slow. I mean, Jack was a slow learner in some, in some ways in this particular case. He, he had found this woman uh, who, who, as I said in the book, um, whose intellect was probably the equal of his own. And of course, an awful lot of people in England say, oh, no, 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 couldn't possibly be, and all that sort of thing. But the truth of the matter was that my mother's mind was in some ways superior to Jack's. Um, she was more widely read than Jack in some areas. Jack had studied the great classics of European literature and the great myths of, of Europe. He'd never looked deeply at all into the American writers. And quite frankly, a lot of them didn't deserve to be looked at deeply, but some did. And of course, my mother was skilled in, in both of those fields. Um, she had studied the history of Ireland at great depth. She knew a great deal more about some things than Jack had, had just, things that Jack had just brushed the surface of. So her education, which was largely self-acquired in many ways, um, was, was the equal of his. And her general knowledge was probably far greater than Jack's. I mean, Jack thought that um, Marshal Tito was the king of Spain or something at one stage. His knowledge of European politics was a negative quantity and so forth. So she certainly had an intellect the equal of Jack's, if in, not, in some cases superior. But, uh, and he found this woman who's, I mean, Jack himself was isolated on a pinnacle of his own intellectual abilities. He found it extremely difficult to find anyone with whom to have a conversation on his own level. Even members of the Inklings barely came to Jack's level. And these were some of the greatest minds in Oxford of the day. Of the day. Um, but he found this woman who was equally isolated on a pinnacle of her own intellectual abilities and excellence. And the two of them just struck a chord. They were on the same level.